Hey everyone, I'm Larry Walsh. And I'm Maddie Frank. And this is Channelnomics in the Margins, and we're coming to you from Vienna, Austria, where we are, well, Maddie, where are we actually? We're at Nash Market. Nash Market, an open air market here in the center of Vienna, an appropriate place to talk about things about going to market, wouldn't you say, Maddie? Absolutely. There's so many different sellers here, places to buy things, different goods, that it's the perfect location. Yeah, I think we have sampled more meats and cheeses over the past hour than I care to admit, don't you? I'll admit it. <laughs> Anyways, Maddie and I have been here in uh, Austria all week. Uh, we've actually been working with some uh, really great channel professionals, leaders in the business, talking about channel, channel strategies, uh, partnership evolutions, and specifically how to better embrace ecosystems. And Maddie, we've learned a lot this week in terms of just brainstorming ideas about how we should be moving forward. Absolutely. We have spent so much time talking about the different labels that we give partners. And what we've realized after many, many conversations with many people over the years is so many people are stuck on those legacy labels and they continue to cling to those and what types of partners those but those partners fall into. Yeah, so you know, it's a natural tendency of uh, vendors when they're structuring their channel programs to try to put into buckets or into different types of columns partners that they think look alike to them. So whether they're resellers or integrators or managed service providers or now you know more thinking about hyperscalers, you know, there's a, a need to do this because it helps them organize and prioritize and keep structure. But the world doesn't look like that anymore. The world is more more fluid. You know, the average partner today isn't just a reseller. It's also a service provider. It's also an integrator. It's also doing volume sales versus value sales. And so it's really difficult to actually sit in a room. Maddie will tell you is that it's really difficult to sit in a room and have a conversation about which partner does what when they all have different flavors. It is. It used to be, okay, you know, resellers buy your product and resell it to their customers. Now, resellers also offer services to their end customers and things like MSPs are also reselling products. Yeah, so everybody blends together and it just doesn't work to label them traditionally. Yeah, look, a great example of this is, is global systems integrators. These companies never want to have product on their books, yet they are now reselling because they need to keep their top lines up and they're developing services because they also need to have the same flywheel recurring revenue that a lot the vendors and service providers are seeking. So, I mean, this is all a very blended ecosystem now. And yes, the partners will do things that are specific to what their models are, what their customer needs are, which makes their specializations, whether it's a technical specialization or a vertical specialization, even more important. So when we're thinking about categorizing partners, I tend to look at it and see it, and Maddie and I have actually built new models around this to actually look at it more around alignment. What's more important? How do they service the customer? What can they do on your behalf? And also, you know, the way that they sell is their sales model conducive to your model. Yeah, so we really have to look at partners and what they do and not just what those what traditional bucket they fall into, which makes it easier for vendors to categorize because it's easier. It, you really have to dig deep into what they do and where they fit in the new models. That's right. And just remember something is that it doesn't matter whether they're a reseller, an integrator, an ISV, a GSI, they all fall into the same, it's the same basic sales models. They're either selling to, selling through, selling with, or they're influencing. It's as simple as that. Well, look, that's all the time we have for this edition of In the Margins. Coming to you again from Vienna, Austria. Maddie and I are going to go back to sampling all the great food here in the, where are we again? Nash Market. Nash Market. Until next time, you know, please keep, you know, keep checking out In the Margins. Hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends about it. Check out all the great content we have at channelnomics.com and also check out our other podcasts, Changing Channels and the Network Effect. Until next time, I'm Larry Walsh. And I'm Maddie Frank. Uh, uh,